Hi guys, welcome to this new video about FSC panel. Here I will show you how to use it with the new addition Majestic Dash 8 400. Here we're gonna do a little scenario in uh, Zurich initially an ILS 1.4, then we will move to London City for an ILS 2.7, and finally I will show you how to use FSC panel with Majestic Dash 8 in order to start flying a traffic pattern or just a takeoff. So let's see how we can use that software to fly with this uh, beautiful airplane. Alright, so uh, as always when you start the software you have to choose the aircraft. So here we are on the 737-800. So we'll select Dash 8. Here you see I have a Dash 8 with flaps 3.5 and here another Dash 8 with flaps 1.5. So we will use flaps 1.5 for this first approach in Zurich as we have long runways. So we select the airport, Zurich, Lima, Sierra, Zulu, Hotel, Zurich, Switzerland, that's correct, select the airport. Next, we need to select which runway we want to work out, so here I will choose an, an approach, a runway with a nice approach, so usually in Zurich we use ILS-14. Then we need to find a position, select a position, so 4 miles final, that's a good position, and finally, we will look for the weather, so we can look at the actual weather by clicking Download Actual Weather. This will show you the last seven hours. So here let's look for some nice weather. Here we have uh, something with 2800 meters visibility. Let's take that one and here make sure you uh, decide whether you want to fly by day or by night. Here we want to do a daylight approach, so I will click on Day. And finally, when everything is set, we click Set Weather. So now we are ready to start our approach, so we just have to click Move Aircraft. Okay, here we are in our cockpit. Maximize PFD and ND. As you see, frequency are wrong, altitude is wrong, QNH is wrong. So uh, FSC panel will start working on it now. The weather as well will change, you will see that in a minute. So now, switching all the modes for you, you can see that the QNH is set, now the OLS frequency is set, and now the aircraft is in the trimming phase. So what you have to do now, as the Q400 doesn't have auto thrust, you have to adjust your Thank power you. levers in order to reach the target speed, which is on the top screen here, you can see. So we need to achieve 131 to 146. So we just select the set the power to close to flight idle and the speed is slowly going down to our target speed. As you can see here, this is where you can see your target, so 131 to 146. You see that we are moving forward, it doesn't matter because then FSC panel will bring you back to the right position just before releasing you. Now the speed is good and now you can see that FSC panel tells you to arm the approach if you want and when you're ready you can release pause and start flying. So the altitude is correct, we are in a good position, centered on the localizer and the only thing I have to do now to start flying, push approach mode and you can see localizer is captured. Then I just hit pause and it is my control. Slow. So from that point you are flying the plane. Slow. It is your control so now we should have the glide slope slow. normally at 4 miles, this is what we have requested. So you can see now we are coming close to 4 miles, 2700 feet, and we should have the glide slope. Glide slope captured, 4 miles, perfect, we can start our approach. So as you see, it takes only a few seconds to get ready for an approach. Now I will move a little bit forward to show you the landing and the landing report features which is new as well in FSC panel. So let's go fast down to around 400 feet around here. All right. So now I take it again by and and I will land on this approach slightly left of center line to show you the landing report. So Minimums. let's take the autopilot Minimums. off. And we will uh, do a good landing, but slightly left, 100. to see what the landing report is showing us. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, and we go now to the center line, and we start braking. 
And now you will see the landing report is available immediately after touchdown. So I will let you know when we reach 80 knots, I will let you have a look at it. Alright, this is the landing report for this landing that I've just done. As you can see, the deviation from center line, which is highlighted in left, 4.1 meters left training required. And if we look here, this is the graph of our local hazard deviation and glide slope deviation. Everything is good because we are flying with the autopilot. Alright, back to the panel. Now we want to fly London City. So here it's good to have flaps 3.5 as uh, London City has short runway as you will see now. So we type in London City, Echo Golf, Lima, Charlie. That's correct. Now we will select the runway we want to work out. So runway to wait, as you can see here, runway to wait is only around 1,500 meters. It has an IGLS, the frequency 1115, and the glide slope 5.5, which is unusual. So we're going to select runway to wait. As you can see on the top right corner of this chart, 5.5 glide pass. And if you look down, we should maintain 2,000 feet and at 4 miles we will start our descent with 5.5 glide slope. So let's see how to program that in FSC panel. So what we will do here, 4 miles, this is standard, 8 miles standard at 4,700 feet. This is calculated for the 5.5 glide pass. But we would like to comply with the approach chart, so we'll do it by yourself manually. Here you have to enter the distance in nautical miles, so 4 miles. If I leave here 5.5, it will calculate what should be my altitude to have 5.5 miles and be correctly established on the light slope. So here we want to set the altitude by yourself. So let's put 2000 as on the chart and we should then have 4 nautical miles at 2000 feet to get the localizer, the light slope, sorry. Weather, let's have a look at the weather, something nice so we can see as well outside. So this is not too bad. We're going to take this one. And again, make sure you decide if you want to fly by day or by night and then set weather. And then we can press move aircraft. Again, I will maximize PFD and ND. As you can see, everything is wrong here. And the weather is not yet set, but FSE panel will work on it immediately. All right. Now it's setting all the modes. You see the QNH. Look at your nav setting now. And now the aircraft is released for trimming, so it's climbing to our 2000 feet. Banking. We have to set our speed to target speed here, as before. So power levers close to flight idle to let the speed drops. And once we are within the tolerance, we will be given the control to fly this approach in London City. Alright, we're getting close now. That's it. Now it's your control. You can arm the approach. Look at this. The speed is correct. Altitude is correct. We are nicely established localizer and glide slope. 4.7 nautical miles. We asked for 4 miles. This is because on the setting we have an offset of 0 0.7 to give us some time. I just arm the approach. Localizer is already captured. And I can release really pause and I will then fly this approach. Alright, then it is your control from that point. Here in London City, if you train London City, you have to be uh, very precise on the speed. We don't want to have too much speed. And as well, London City is a 5.5 degrees short runway. So remember that here we are looking for a firm positive landing on the touchdown zone. There is no room to play and float and then we are too long. So this is what I will do here. Just a little flare, touchdown and then start braking. Minimums. Minimums. 100. All right, 50, coming to 30 feet, needle flare, 20, 10. hit the ground, and now we can start braking. Here I'm using the scenery from UK 2000, London City, very beautiful, I think. You have Babu, which I love, here on the left-hand side, as well, Swiss. A very nice uh, scenery to fly London City. All right, here we will evacuate to the end on the left hand side. Just to show you here, it's very easy to set up any approach. You can as well set your aircraft in base, downwind, as you like. 
And for the last thing we want to do, we want to do a takeoff. So here, flaps on five is good for a takeoff. I will choose my runway. So we said we want to work out in Zurich, runway 28. So I will type in Zurich. Then the runway 28 and select fix. And I will go for, uh, let's say, a right and patterns. Look here, 5,000 feet. This is the altitude we would like to have and move aircraft. As I didn't change the weather, the weather will be the same as previous, so it will be the same as in London City. So now everything is wrong, the QNH is wrong, the weather is wrong, and now FSC panel is taking care of it. Look now, the QNH is correct, altitude for the circuit is set at 5000. We are in heading cell, heading go around an alt cell, flaps 1.5 for landing, already set for you. And if you look at your uh, overhead panel, everything is set for your takeoff. So basically, you can fly immediately. Looking here, we have the flaps 5 already set. So we'll be ready on way to wait here for a takeoff. If you look here, we have the speeds as well. And your localizer frequency is set to the takeoff runway if you have an ILS, so that if you have an emergency, or if you do a traffic pattern, you can come back. All right, let's uh, do the takeoff. So you saw that you can take off, you can prepare your takeoff and be airborne within two minutes. Because normally when we start Majestic 400, we are with ground power on ground. Here you can start immediately 80 knots. So you can start and fly within a minute. B1, rotate, positive rate, gear up, and nice takeoff. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope uh, you uh, liked it. And uh, FSC panel is now compatible with uh, Majestic Dash 8 400 for uh, FS6 and as well P3D version 2.2 or 2.3. And uh, please make sure you have the last version of Majestic if you intend to use it. Thank you and see you next time.